previous class we discussed about the conductors insulators and semiconductors in this class we are going to be discussing about the applications of n and n type and p type semiconductors and the magnetic properties of the solids when it comes to the applications of uh, n type and p type semiconductors that is a combination of these and uh, n type and p type uh, semiconductors are used up making making that is electronic components making electronic components then it is used and the diode that is a diode is a, diode is a combination of n and p type semiconductors diode is a diode is a combination of n and p type semiconductors which is used as a rectifier used as a rectifier rectifier then then solar cell that is solar cell is a efficient photodiode used for the conversion of light energy into that is electrical energy that is solar cell is a type of diode that is a efficient photodiode is a combination of this n type and p type semiconductor which is used to convert the light energy to electrical energy electrical energy then these uh, npn and pnp transistors are used to that is uh, npn and pnp transistors transistors are used to that is uh, amplify and detect the radio and audio signals are used to amplify or are detect radio or audio signals then large variety of solid state materials have been prepared by the combination of these group uh, 13 and the group 15 elements group 13 and the group 15 elements solid state materials are prepared by using the group 13 and group 15 and uh, group 12 and uh, by using the uh, group uh, 12 and group 16 uh, also are going to be used in the preparation of some solid state material that is group 12 and group 16 this is a combination used to to uh, prepare the some solid state uh, materials this is about the that is uh, applications of n type and p type semiconductors now we are going to be discussing about the magnetic properties when it comes to the magnetic properties magnetic properties when it comes to the magnetic properties every substance has some magnetic properties associated with it every substance is going to be associated with some magnetic property is going to be associated is going to be with means every substance has some magnetic properties associated with it the origin of these properties is due to the electrons the origin of this magnetic properties is due to the electrons and each electron in the an atom behaves like a tiny magnet tiny magnet that is going to be behaves like a tiny magnet the magnetic moment arises due to the two types of motions of electrons that is uh, this magnetic moment magnetic moment arises due to the two types of motion that is one is orbital motion that is the orbital motion around the nucleus around the nucleus and the second type of motion is spin around in its own axis that is a spin around around its own axis due to these two uh, moments that is a uh, 
two types of motions this is going to be behaves like a magnetic moment that is going to be magnetic moment arises due to the, these two types of motions then now we are going to be discussing about the types of magnetic substances that is the types of magnetic substances types of magnetic substances when it comes to the types of magnetic substances on the basis of their magnetic properties substances are classified into five types substances are classified into five types the first one we called as a paramagnetic substances paramagnetic substances this the second one is going to be taken as a diamagnetic substances diamagnetic substances then third one we called as a ferro magnetic substances then the fourth one we called as a anti ferromagnetic substances ferromagnetic substances and fifth one we call as a ferri magnetic substances ferri magnetic substances now we are going to be discussing about the first we are going to be discussing about the paramagnetic substances uh, the the substances which are weakly attracted by magnetic field weakly attracted by magnetic field is called as a paramagnetic substances this uh, example for this is o2 cu2 plus fe3 plus CO2 plus O2, CO2 plus Fe3 plus, then uh, Cr3 plus, etc. These are examples for the paramagnet. Paramagnetism is due to the presence of one or more unpaired electrons. Presence of uh, one or more unpaired electrons. Unpaired electrons due to this is going to be the substances is going to be as the paramagnetism shows the magnetic nature in the magnetic field in the same direction then these substances lost their magnetic property or magnetic nature in the absence of magnetic field in the absence of magnetic field now we are going to be discussing about the diamagnetic substances when it comes to the diamagnetic substances these are uh, the weakly repelled by the magnetic field the substances weakly repelled by magnetic field magnetic field are called as a diamagnetic substances the diamagnetism is due to the absence of unpaired electrons absence of unpaired electrons this uh, are weakly repelled by the magnetic field example for this is NaCl H2O benzene C6H6 then zinc etc these are the diamagnetic substances the next we are going to be discussing about the ferromagnetic substances the substances which are strongly attracted by the magnetic field are called as a ferromagnetic substances these are strongly strongly attracted by magnetic field magnetic field are called the ferromagnetic substances these uh, show permanent magnetism even in the absence of magnetic field it shows the ferromagnetic substance shows the permanent magnetism in the absence of the the magnetic field also example iron 
आयरन कोबाल्ट निकल एक्सेट्रा दीज आर द सब्सटेंसेस वी कॉल एज ए फेरो मैग्नेटिक सब्सटेंस बिकॉज दीज आर स्ट्रांगली अट्रैक्टेड बाय द मैग्नेटिक फील्ड द नेक्स्ट वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कसिंग अबाउट द एंटी फेरो मैग्नेटिक सब्सटेंसेस व्हेन कम्स टू द एंटी फेरो मैग्नेटिक सब्सटेंसेस द सब्सटेंस हैविंग द अनपेड इलेक्ट्रॉन्स बट नॉट अट्रैक्टेड बाय मैग्नेटिक फील्ड बिकॉज here the it contains the equal number of unpaired electrons are moving in opposite directions are called as anti ferromagnetic substances means uh, which contains the unpaired electrons which contains the unpaired electrons which contains the unpaired electrons but not attracted by magnetic field because which contain the equal number of the unpaired electrons are moving in the opposite direction you can observe these electrons unpaired electrons are moving in the opposite direction one electron is moving in this direction means the, the, the next electron is going to be moving in the opposite direction due to this the magnetic prop moment is going to be cancelled that is why it is not attracted by the magnetic field even it contains the unpaired electrons that we called as a anti ferromagnetic substances the substances having the unpaired electrons but not attracted by the magnetic field because it contains the equal number of unpaired electrons are moving in the opposite directions are called as a anti ferromagnetic substances so, example for this is manganese oxide that is going to be example for this anti ferro magnetic substance then ferri magnetic substances the substance having more unpaired electron but weakly attracted by magnetic field the substances having the more unpaired electrons which contains the more unpaired electron but weakly attracted by the magnetic field why means because unequal number of unpaired electrons are moving in the opposite directions suppose the two are moving in this direction the next one is going to be moving like this means unequal number of unpaired electrons are moving in the opposite directions are called as a that is going to be this about the ferri magnetic substance ferri magnetic substance loss Uh, ferry magnetism on heating it be become the para magnetic example for this is the reason fe3 o4 is example then mg f2 o4 this is also example for the ferry magnetic substance this about the magnetic properties of the solids